In this video, I wanted to walk you through the best way to purchase a car if you have a credit score of a 680 or lower. Purchasing a car is a big investment, and if you have a low credit score, you need to take some steps prior to applying to make sure you get approved and get the best deal. So let's get into it. First, you need to look at your FICO score on myfico.com to see what type of score you are starting out with and what exactly is reporting on your credit report. Next up would be making a list of the type of car you want, what color, features, year, make and model, and more importantly, what is your budget? You should figure out what type of monthly payment works for you and see if you can put aside some money if you need to put down a down payment. I always recommend to see how much you can afford each month and multiply it by 60, which is five years, to find out what you can actually afford and shop in that price range. I also recommend that you go and test drive the cars. You can do this for free without running your credit. If you do like a certain sales rep and click with them, make sure to get their information and tell them you will reach out to them once you are ready to purchase. Make sure to have all your docs ready, like your driver's license, two pay stubs, bank statements. These are all documents they will ask for. So make sure you know how to access them when you are ready. Once you know what type of car you are looking for, I would call dealers ahead of time and ask if they have a special finance manager that deals with subprime. These types of dealerships have finance departments that specialize in helping people with low credit scores and may be more willing to work with you on financing. I would also look for dealerships that offer in-house financing meaning the dealership itself provides financing for the car purchases. This could be a good option since the dealership would have more flexibility in finding a financing option that works for you. When doing your research, make sure to read reviews. Try and work with a large dealer that has a website that lists out their pricing online and has more favorable terms. Always ask your family and friends for recommendations and see if they have worked with a company or representative they recommend and trust. Once you have completed the steps that I just went through and you feel like you are ready to actually apply for the car, here's how you do it. When you apply for a car loan, the lender will check your credit report and score and a hard inquiry will show on your report. When you are applying for a car or a home, you can typically shop around, meaning within a time frame of 30 days, you can rate shop and all of the hard inquiries will appear on your credit report, but only one will negatively affect your score. This is why you need to be fully prepared before you apply for the car. I recommend keeping the applications to a short time frame to minimize the overall impact of the hard inquiries. If you have a low credit score, I highly recommend getting pre-approved by your trusted bank or with a credit union. They usually have better deals for people with low credit scores. I do not recommend going dealer to dealer and applying. You need to be in control who is running your credit and you are the one that is shopping for the car, not the other way around. So apply with your local bank credit union or go with one of the in-house dealerships that has a special finance manager. Here are some things to look out for when you're purchasing a vehicle. Never disclose what your monthly budget is to the salesman. You want to focus on the overall price of the vehicle. They can manipulate the monthly payment by lengthening the loan in the interest rate. If you do have a lower credit score, your interest rate may be higher. But if you do make your payments on time and work on your credit, you may be able to refi the vehicle to get a better rate in six months. Make sure to negotiate. You are in control here. Come in educated on what the market price on that specific car is going for and have an idea in mind of what you want. Do not disclose what type of loan or interest rate you were already approved for. This opens it up for them not giving you the best deal. Always try and avoid small time car dealerships. You want to work with a reputable company that has good reviews, a website, and a large inventory. Always make sure to finish the paperwork before you leave. Review the title and know it's a legitimate company. Try and avoid additional fees like documentation fees, dealer prep fees, or add-on warranties. So take your time when purchasing a car and do your research. If you have no idea where to start, if you are looking to fix your credit, check out this video right here where I walk you through step-by-step -step how to get started. Once again, my name is Ari Grumman. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.